course, lots of folks like pumpkin pie on Thanksgiving. Oh, yeah. It's Who doesn't? Tradition, Come on, it is know? tradition. It's just part of being an American. But is it really <laughs> pumpkin pie that you're eating? Jennifer Krause has discovered that it could be something else. Jennifer, we usually always want your answers. You're always helping us out. This one, I don't know, though, if we want the truth. <laughs> <laughs> It's shocking. I know. I was I was really surprised to learn this. You know, you are making pumpkin pie, pumpkin bread, maybe even some pumpkin cookies. You go to the store, you buy a can or two of this. It says on the label, 100% pure pumpkin. So you think this is what's in the can. But Consumer Reports found that's not always exactly true. There's a secret hiding in this can. When the label says pumpkin, you probably expect that that's what's inside. But instead, it's more likely to contain a variety of squash like these. Even if the can says 100% pumpkin, it's probably a mix of pumpkin and other golden squash, which is actually denser and sweeter. The FDA has allowed it to be called pumpkin since 1938. Honestly, you probably can't tell the difference because it's the spices you add, like cinnamon, nutmeg, ginger, and cloves that give your baked goods a delicious pumpkin spice flavor. And enjoying pumpkin is a good thing. Whether it's fresh or canned, pumpkin and squash are super healthy. They're rich in antioxidants, and one cup has as much vitamin A as you need in a day or more. And don't feel badly about choosing canned pumpkin over fresh. A cup of canned has twice as much fiber as fresh pumpkin and is loaded with iron and carotenoids. But whatever you do, don't confuse canned pumpkin with pumpkin pie mix. Pumpkin pie mix can have about 48 grams of added sugars per cup. And you don't have to have dessert to get your pumpkin fix. Pumpkin can be a great addition to your morning smoothie. Drop in a few tablespoons with some Greek yogurt, a banana, a little milk, and some cinnamon. It's a healthy and delicious start to your day. Okay, so now we know. So now we need to decide, are we going to call this pumpkin or squash? I say we go for pumpkin because really, do you want to offer someone squash pie? That just doesn't sound very good. Or Ben and Amy, if I offered you a squash cookie, would you want one of these? <laughs> now, I don't think either one oh. of us would probably want one. Now, Nick Barris, that's a whole nother story. Well. <laughs> but uh, that doesn't sound really good. No. No, but pumpkin cookies, these pumpkin cookies are actually very good and they're very easy to make. You take one can of pumpkin or squash, whatever we want to call it, one box of spice mix and one bag of white chocolate chips. That's all it takes. Ooh. Three ingredients. You mix them together. You drop them on spoonfuls on a cookie sheet. Cook them for four, at 400 degrees for about 10 to 12 minutes and you've got cookies that taste like the holidays. All right, that's good. 2020, gotta, though, just got a little weirder, yeah. though, right? That we learned most of that squash. Regardless, we got to still call it pumpkin. I agree. Can't change that. Come I on. Agree. Just Jen, more appetizing. Thank you so much. And that uh, white chocolate in there. That would be good, wouldn't bags. it? Yeah. Nice. Load it down. Yeah.